And there's no way all this is fitting into the RV. Have you packed any actual boxes yet? No. What's gonna go to the RV? Right. What's gonna go to storage? She was trying for out how to help me. I gave myself the talking to. So all of that had to be coordinated. This part's not fun. What do you think of all this? Is it all confusing and upsetting? Or are you getting used to it now? Oh my gosh. Hey Romers, I'm Jamie. I'm Linda. And this is Roaming with Rosie. And we have done it. Yep, we're Almost. moving into the RV. Yep, today we've actually been moving in for a couple days. We've got a couple more days before we're out of the house. We sold the house. Right, house got is sold, so we're done with that situation. Almost. Almost, yeah. Yeah, so that was a turn of events. Um, you'll have to go back to our previous videos to see how that suddenly happened that we decided to sell. Right. So you've been doing a lot this week. Right, I'm um, just finishing up some final touches on the RV, like built a workstation. <laughs> final uh, touches. Desk, so it's going to double as a workstation and also where we eat. So it's going to be our dining room table as well. Yeah. And then added a couple more Lion Energy batteries. Well, I got the batteries all wired up. So all six of them are all set, ready to go. There's the last two that I put in today. So we should be good. With all that solar and uh, all these batteries, we'll be able to boondock uh, for long periods of time. So that's going to be great. Changed out the old TV in the in the bedroom to one of our newer Samsung flat screen TVs. So you got the TV down. Yeah. Are you just taking stuff out right now? Um, well, we're not. We want to put this TV up there. So, so you're going to put down the old one that doesn't really work. Right. I'm gonna mount the new one. Screws don't come out very easily, so I'm having to use the uh, channel for uh, vice grips. Oh. And. You didn't finish the big TV. Didn't finish the big TV yet because that was there was a lot more work entailed, and figured there's too much other stuff to do, so I can do that when we're out on the road, so not a big deal. Yeah, so you'll be pulling up your uh, bench to. <laughs> <laughs> to... <laughs> I'll be pulling up my bench and I'll be standing on the side of the road with a hat in my hand asking for money. That's my version of Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Just roaming with Rosie. Right, roaming with bucket. Rosie, please give. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're hitting the road on Tuesday. Tuesday, yep. Tuesday heading out to the big RV show in Quartzsite. And I didn't tell you, tomorrow is when we get all the rest of the furniture out of the house. There's actually not that much, so we just rented a trailer. Right. And have a friend coming over to help. And guess what the forecast is for tomorrow? Rain. Yeah, rain. We're in the desert. It hardly ever rains. Figure. Go yeah. figure. Yep. So hopefully it won't happen when we're moving that load. And then we're going to take some furniture to consignment stores. Right. Hopefully that gets taken care of and we can not worry about that anymore and make a little money that will pay for some gas. Right. Yesterday we took all of our change that we've saved for like 20 years Yep. and figured out at the bottom of the bottle it was almost all pennies, which means some now grown children <laughs> probably took all the quarters out of it way back when. The second right. half was stuff we'd put in since they left. Yeah, take the silver stuff, not the brown stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but that gave us enough money for a tank full, maybe. No, no, <laughs> no, it's only a couple hundred bucks and that won't fill this tank. Oh my so, gosh. But yeah, yeah, so, but so, it'll help. Yes. So today we are moving in, making sure everything fits. That's a big question mark. Right. He's got all his stuff from the garage that he thinks he needs loaded. And then he saw the, the, the section of the house that I filled with what needs to go in the RV. What do you think of all this? Is it all confusing and upsetting? Or are you getting used to it now? I think you're getting used to it. The first few days you were just standing around. You wouldn't lay down anywhere, but that's the going to RV pile. And he's telling me it's not going to fit. Well, I didn't say it's not going to fit. I just said it's a lot of stuff. So but um, we'll, we'll see how everything goes. We'll see. Right. All right. So we'll show you what we're doing. Huh? You guys coming to see what's going to be in the garage sale? 
I know you're cute, but we're not allowed to feed you. Yeah. Somebody dropped you guys off in our lake because you're not really from this area. This has been three months of us not putting out videos very much, so thank you for hanging in with us. This has been really crazy. We had to finish renovating the house. Yeah, we finished doing the reno on the house, and then we had to let people come in and see the house so we could actually sell the house. And then it went from there to immediately moving stuff out of the house. Right. And figuring selling out stuff. selling we had stuff for garage sales. Yeah. We had to get ready for the house to sell, so we had to finish renovating it. Yeah, finish doing the reno and then uh, cleaning out stuff. Cleaning out and prep it for showing it. We had an open house weekend and in four days a hundred different groups of buyers came to see the house in four days yeah it was it was pretty crazy. it was crazy and yeah. we were just and of course Dexter's shedding that whole time <laughs> yeah and luckily we had enough we had enough offers to be able to shut it down after four days yes then had to start figuring out where everything was going to go so what's going to go to the rv right. what's going to go to storage so all of that had to be coordinated so yeah so one thing is when you're 60 your friends don't want to come help you move anymore. No. <laughs> they don't They don't ask friends, they have movers. But I had to explain to my friend that um, she was trying for how to help me and she kept saying, why don't you just get movers? And I said, because I literally have to look at every item to decide when will I next need this. If you have been following us, you know we will have a home again in this year. So we need to, we had to estimate what's worth storing, what's worth the cost of storing, what's worth the cost of moving it to another state later but I also had to decide what do we need. We've got we know what stages and what areas of the country we're going to be visiting, and we needed to know what we need for each of those things. So we do have this huge closet, so that's really nice. That's really cool for us. But we're going to go from this closet to this closet, and then I'll show you what I did with packing up everything that doesn't fit. So this is what I've done with everything that doesn't fit. So after all those bags that you saw vacuum packed already, that's what's going into storage. I've done three rounds in my closet, and there's no way all this is fitting into the RV. I've done, I don't know how many donations to, um, there's a place near us called Closed Cabin. If you're in the Phoenix area, there's places like this where you donate stuff, and then a few days a week, um, people who are qualified by either being homeless or, or whatever at qualifications, it's pretty generous, they get to come shop. And sadly, they only get to come shop once every three months and if they're on the streets that's just not enough to keep them clothed and shoes and um, whatever else they need jackets especially and blankets um, but they don't have enough donations so that's why they can only come once every three months it's also a place where people who are homeless can come and they can use a locker and they can wash their clothes and they can take a shower get what they need so that they can get jobs because not having a home really is an inhibitor to getting a job. So it's really an awesome place. So here goes round four. This still won't fit in the RV. I just went back in, gave myself a talking to, and I've got this much more. Now what am I doing with all that? There are things I wanted to keep, so I'm going to be putting them in these bags so that they only end up being like that high. And, um, and they'll be protected in the storage unit. This is what they look like. After, after you vacuum them. Okay, so that's how many hangers full of clothes I just got rid of in, in that go round. Um, there's a few underneath that were part of that bag over there, but so now we've got this. This is an extra large magic bag and we're going to seal it. Okay, the next step is it comes with this little slider that helps seal these two slides. And it's hard to start. Once you start it, it's okay. Okay, and you squeeze this. And it goes from yellow and blue to green if you've got it sealed. All 
Alright, we're good. Step this back here. So you can see, it still weighs as much as that many clothes. Air doesn't weigh anything, so we just suck the air out. So it's remarkably heavy for how small it is and that it's closed, but so that's done. I've successfully gotten everything out of my closet and I will fight with Jamie to get more closet space in the RV. The rest of it, hopefully I'll be able to bring. Um, we do have a lot of storage. It's just not all in the bedroom area. And he's filled one of the bays with, you know, miscellaneous equipment like for electricity and stuff, you know. Turns out the furniture was the easy part because we're selling a lot of it. So this is all going for sale. Already packed up the dining room table and hutches into storage for now because they're too expensive to replace and if we're gonna want them in a year. The kitchen is beginning to be disassembled. All of these cabinets are full. What do you think? Rosie's parked here again and the whole house is turned upside down and whole rooms have nothing in them. What do you think? You ready to move in? Do you think you're ready to move in? So this is it. We are moving into the RV starting tonight. Jamie's been loading underneath and putting all kinds of finishing touches on it so that we can actually live in here for at least the next four months. And um, we have to be out of our house in three days so we can get to Quartzsite on time for a big meetup there. But we're really doing it. This is it right now. And of course he thinks I have too much stuff to put in the cabins. And I think he has too much stuff that's going underneath. Okay, this is it. All the work we've done for 10 years. Bye bye. The new owners are super happy. Sure does make an echo when a house is empty, doesn't it? Although I think this one comes off pretty good without any new furniture even. This is gonna be a grandmother's room. So cute. New owners came over and we showed them how everything works. We showed them this um, awesome view that they're going to have. Because they actually bought the house without seeing it. So they didn't even get to see it until yesterday. And we leave today. Bye bye. No more of waking up in the morning and sitting out here having coffee over the water. Running my fountain. We're chatting over the fence with my neighbor. Everything's loaded up. We we overestimated what would fit in Rosie. Right. So we've had to load up our toad as well. Yeah. Yeah. So today we're headed to Quartzsite. We'll be meeting up with um, Mark Guido and his wife Pat of Grand Adventure. We'll be meeting up with um, Shauna and Brian from Life, Life Uninterrupted. Uninterrupted. We're also going to be camping with Aaron, Aaron and Tina Jones from Jones Into Travel. Yeah. We'll take you along with us and we'll do some interviews at the Big RV Show. That's correct. And our travels begin now. Right. We'll see you on the road. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not yet a subscriber, make sure and hit that subscribe button. And ring that bell so you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. And make sure to leave a comment so you can be part of the conversation. Until next time. We'll see you.